What is this man vampire is making pie here? So, I have a confession to make. The game had dropped yesterday. For many of you, it's, it would be two days ago. I had early access. But with everything that has been going around in my life, as well as, you know, the gaming scene, the horror gaming scene, guess what? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This evil nun, this sister Madeline, she gave me so tough time. So much so that it took me, if I sit on my butt, which I did, I sat on my butt today, and I was like, you know what, I'm not getting up until I beat this, which I did, but embarrassingly, even for that attempt, I'm not even counting the one that I did on live stream yesterday, and the one that I tried the same night, which is why I didn't do the live stream in the first place, I could not beat it, and today it took me two hours, it took me two hours, to properly finish the game and get my first ending. You know, I can sit here and make excuses, but I'm gonna be honest with you about one thing, and one thing specifically. I love to complete games for a long period of time. There are games that I have not finished yet, and I do that on purpose. There's a game called A Plague Tale Requiem. It's my favorite game of the last two years, general game, right? And the game had dropped in like October, 21 i think and it's been actually no october 15th and it's been almost three weeks and i'm still playing it every day few minutes the games that i enjoy the most i t i like to take my time with games but unfortunately with the way the youtube scene works especially you know when it comes to content creators there's no time to breathe and that is why, you know, you can see my struggle with covering other content here on the, my YouTube channel. That is the same exact reason why. I can make that excuse, but I'm not going to because this is me not being able to finish this game for almost two days. And now that I have, I'm proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of it. So I finish the game and then I go look on Twitter. The developer, Carlos, the developer, is saying something like there are two endings that I can play in this early access and there are, there are two separate endings so in total four endings so you got your main door escape ending then you got through van escape look there are endings in what I don't I don't freaking know here's me getting all the fuses opening the door going to the next one and ba I, I escape all right check it out there, no commentary because I didn't even expect it to beat it so check it out there's the ending I'll, I'll talk to you at the end of this Crazy, absolutely crazy, ladies and gentlemen. So we escape, the nun sees us. This is kind of sort of like a main ending or ending one per se. When the full game drops, which you can buy by the way right now, you'll get all the new updates, new endings. If there are doors like green door, yellow door, what's behind those? You'll get it slowly but surely in 2023. But we're not here for that. Carlos, you've done a fantastic job on this game. You've done an amazing job on this game. You should be proud. You should be proud of what you've accomplished here in a very small time. There are unique voice lines. If you are holding a broom or a fuse and none catches you, she will say, drop that fuse. What are you doing with the fuse? Or when you're holding a broom, she will say, I'm going to use that broom to clean up after I kill you or something like that. That is sick. That is so sick. So, Carlos, you've done your job more than we've expected. So, shout out to you. Caplarian's team, shout out to you. Uh, give me tips. Give me tips to find other endings. And I'll make a separate video talking about all the endings for Evil Nun, The Broken Mask. I'm not even going to try and attempt to do a story explanation at this moment. Let the game come out fully. Let the game drop fully. Or even if they drop hints, let it out first. And then we'll try to tackle it at the end. Susu for more. Yeah.